This is the first in a weekly series that we'll call the Monday Commodities and Recycling Report, brought to you by Ben Lee, the industry leader in roll-off trailers and open-top scrap trailers, as well as Raleigh and Goldsmith Metal Recycling, the leaders in North Carolina for scrap metal, cardboard, electronics, and junk cars. Today is Monday, March 9, 2015. My name is Greg Brown, President and CEO of the companies. For many, last week was Ferris Selling Week. The clear expectation going into the week was that prices were going to be down about $20 a gross ton, about $1 per hundred pounds. Even though prices had tumbled to multi-year lows in February, the issue was that Mother Nature had a different idea. With February being horrific in terms of weather in the Northeast and Southeast, flows of scrap obsolete material into the scrapyards were at low levels not seen since the crash of 2008. This meant that any further price reduction would have caused shortages of some commodities. So prices were mostly sideways, other than for some isolated areas in the Midwest that had an approximate $10 per gross ton decline. Copper, which hit a multi-year low of about $2.41 per pound on May COMEX about a month ago, had a nice steady increase to $2.70 a week ago. But last week we saw a steady significant decline to $2.61 as of Friday. Cop did have a nice bump this morning to about 266. Aluminum, which has also been struggling, hit a new approximate monthly low on Friday. On the economic front, there was a lot of big news. First, the number of U.S. jobs created last month was higher than forecast, a terrific 295,000. But this good news was followed by expectations that the Fed will increase rates sooner rather than later. With this expectation, the stock market which was hitting new highs in the past week, crashed on Friday with a stunning 1.4% drop in the S&P 500. This also led to a 13-year low of the euro against the dollar and some, for the, some forecast further weakening of the euro. The low euro versus the dollar is part of what is driving significant amounts of scrap metal and finished goods to come to the U.S. from Europe and less scrap metal to be exported. These are part of the reasons for today's low scrap metal U.S. prices. Oil prices were down a bit in recent days due to a report on increased inventories in the United States. And there was yet another drop in the U.S. gas and oil drilling rig count. The rig count hit a high of 1609 in October of 2014 and a low of 922 last week, a stunning 43% reduction. This reduction has caused layoffs in places like U.S. Steel, which makes steel for the drilling industry. U.S. steel production in the United States, hit a, a short eight weeks ago, hit a multi-year high with a capacity utilization of a very good 79%. At the end of February, production had dropped to a new multi-year low. This 14% decline reduced the capacity utilization well down to 70. On the positive front, not only is the job market in the U.S. continuing to improve, both China and European governments made moves to improve growth. Also positive is that while gasoline prices are a bit higher in recent weeks, they still remain significantly lower than a year ago. This is a global shot in the arm for consumers and many companies which should shortly help the growth here in the U.S. and many other parts of the world. With that said, we hope all is well. We hope you have a great, safe, and profitable week. Tune in next week for the Monday Commodities and Recycling Report.